This is the Hurricane Lint Lizard. It's a device that attaches your vacuum that helps you clean out the lint from your dryer. It's an updated version of an older product. Does it really work? Let's check it out in today's review. Well, this is all there is to it. There's a nozzle, an adapter for your vacuum, and a hose. Pretty simple. Should be very easy to use. All right, it's a pretty simple device. Now, the website says it is three and a half feet long. So what you're supposed to do is use the universal adapter to put it to your vacuum. Angled, flat. Flat goes on right there. Twist it on. You've probably heard of the Lint Lizard before because this is not the first time the Lint Lizard has been out. There was a Lint Lizard around, I would say, 2011 or 12. It was a little bit different though. The hose was clear and a lot of people complained that it was staying coiled up even when they were trying to put it down the dryer. This one seems like it's not going to be so much of a problem. So it appears they may have actually improved on the old design. Let's hope they actually have improved on the design. Now it's time to get this dried out with a dryer. Let's do it. All right, I've got my Hurricane Lint Lizard on my dryer. Now my dryer, I've taken the dryer screen out, but we're gonna insert the Lint Lizard in there and see what we can get out. Now, a lot of dryers have the Lint Trap here. Mine happens to be right there. Shouldn't make a difference though. all the way in there. I could feel a resistance, but it wasn't, nothing was going in there. Let me check this out again. Open it up, and there is some lint in there. I didn't see it go in there, but... We are making some progress, so I'm going to keep going and see how much I can get out of there. Look at this. That was blocking it. I'm going to try a different, a different vacuum. This might, this might not be conducive for the lint lids. Let's try another vacuum. All right, so my Shark Ironflex overheated. Um, I didn't, I wasn't running that long, so it must have been too much resistance for it. It did get some lint, but I don't feel like maybe that's the best option. So I got my older, I went directly onto the, the hose itself, and I'm gonna try it again. getting clogged, which is a good thing because it means there's lint in there, but it's also clogging up, which means I'm not getting anything once it clogs up. Well, here's the thing. I am getting lint out of there. I'll show you what I've got here. Even though I've got that much lint, I wonder if there's another hose I could use that would be more effective. All right, so I'm on my way to Lowe's to look for some alternatives, because here's what's going on. After about six minutes of using the Lint Lizard, I only got a small amount of lint. I could feel the hose when I was inserted in there actually hitting a pretty large area of lint, and it wasn't picking up most of it because that hose is really small. I went back and looked at some of the original Lint Lizard photos, and it looks like the hose from that one was a little bit larger, so I think that maybe the size of this hose could be a problem for the Lint Lizard. So I'm going to see what else I got here at Lowe's. Maybe there's an alternative about the same price that work a little bit better. All right, I'm back from Lowe's and I've got this. This is the Lint Eater Junior, which is a brush that's attached to a couple of two-foot rods. You can buy a 12-foot extension if you want to clean farther up your vents. But this is about 13 bucks there. It can be attached to a drill or you can use it manually. You're supposed to kind of scoop out the lint and vacuum it at the same time. So let's see how that compares to the Lint Lizard.
All right, back in the laundry room here. Now here's a bowl in which the lint lizard picked up with the two different vacuums I tried. I put them all in here. Let's compare, this took about five to six minutes. The instructions say to basically scoop it out and have a vacuum sucking the lint out. So I'm gonna try that and see how it goes. Okay, it goes in there pretty easily. I'm twisting it around here. Oh, look at all that. Oh yeah. Well, that was, didn't really get much more to be honest. That was only, a, that was a couple minutes. I'm not really getting too much more out of there though. So what I'm gonna do now is dump out the lint from both of these and see where we're at. This is my collection from the Lint Lizard. Took about five minutes. Now I didn't get much in the Lint Eater Junior. I was pretty much out of lint by the time I finished. So this only took about two, two and a half minutes. So this is how much the Lint Lizard basically missed. And even though I was thinking that it didn't get a lot, it actually got more than I thought it did, which is good for the Lint Lizard. What I wanna do next is get the hose out and see how it actually picks up lint when it's not an event just in front of me to see how much is actually working. Oh, hey. Okay, okay well, it, I did get some clogs when I was cleaning earlier, but it actually sucked the lint better than I expected it. So my first impression on Lint Lizard was that maybe it was not wide enough to pick it up. That's not the case. It might get a couple clogs in there, but you saw how well it did that time. So obviously if you get a clog, you have to take those out manually. Let's try some more. Even though I was under the impression that the lint lizard was kind of hitting the lint and not picking it up, that was not the case. I had a couple of clogs. Once you get the clogs out, as you saw, it actually does a pretty good job. So really the lint lizard did better than I expected because it only had a little bit left that the lint eater junior got. But really the lint lizard sucks up the lint better than I expected. And that's all you can really ask for. I think for $15, both these are pretty good. The Lint Eater Junior does connect to your drill if you ever want to use that. So I think that for about $13 to $15, they're both pretty good. Now obviously the Lint Lizard is not a complete solution. You've got much longer vents that need to be cleaned out, but as far as just cleaning the inside of your dryer, it does a pretty good job. The Lint Lizard is not really much different from the original, but the original had a problem with, whoops, <laughs> where the hose was hard to unfurl. This one seemed to have fixed that problem, so as far as that goes, it seems a little bit better than the original. Have you used the Hurricane Lint Lizard, the Lint Eater Junior, or the original Lint Lizard? Tell me what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews. That's it, the video's over.